Hello again. Uh, just a bit of an update on the uh, little goldfish tank. I've slowly got the two in. It's letting the uh, filter get bedded in properly. I say it was cycled fully, but because the goldfish are mucky, I didn't want to put four of them in at once. But yeah, it's still going on with. Put two little blackfish in. You see, now I've got one blackfish. This little gold stomach, which I always had. And I've got a very odd coloured. When he turns round, you'll see. Thinks he's getting fed because he's greedy and fat. No, you'll see I've got a really sort of bronzy goldy fish with my orangey. His fins are going a bit orange. Um, no, I, I put this up on some forums. A lot of people said it's just maybe to do with the light because they say they come from a dark pond. It also could be the temperature, I say, because they've come from a pond what was probably, you know, 17, 18 degrees and they're in a tank in my living room. Unfortunately, I get a lot of sun in my living room and uh, I think the water at the minute is 24. So over summer they're going to always have a nice hot tank, I suppose. They're going to have to deal with it. But yeah, as you can see, he's not black at all. He's got a black head. <laughs> Other than that... He's going gold, which you know, it's fair enough as long as they're healthy and happy, I don't mind. It's just very odd, I've never come across that before. The other one is still uh, still black. I thought I was getting ick at one point, but it turns out the black one's just got like his breeding spots. I saw like loads of little white spots around its gills and on, on its fins. I thought, oh, I've got ick, but it turns out they're all uniform. And basically, it spent its time pretty much for the last two weeks just chasing the other one about and it's had no more white spots and so it's just it's breeding with the spots but yeah apart from them being real greedy they've seen me so they're there because that's where I feed them other than that they actually have a good swell around so yeah I've added a good bit of on water into the pond I'm going to replace as, as I go along just keep replacing the plastic plants out with the uh, real ones as I go well, I say the silk plants, they're not too bad. They don't look terrible, but you know, real ones are always better. Yeah, two fish, what was identical? And now you can see them together there, but really not. <laughs> Alright, I'll uh, leave it there. Oh, something else, just as an aside, for anyone else like me who never really used a spray bar. I had the spray bar pointed forward, so this way, to, towards me with the camera, <laughs> and it was making, I mean, it's 1,400 litres an hour, apparently, the uh, filter I've got. So it was pushing quite a lot of water out, and the fish were just getting slung about all over. I've tried it in many, many ways, and the best way I've found it is, put it, I put it a little extension on it at that end, which you can see, you know, the reflection of my doors out the way. Um, so it was a good bit underwater, and I've pointed it, you know, more or less up. Not fully, you know, it's probably only 10, 15 degrees facing this way. And um, still get loads of water agitation, at the, uh, surface agitation at the top for, you know, keep the oxygen well. But it stopped a lot of the flow in my tank, and my fish seem loads happier. They knock about all over the place now, the, at the back, at the front. Whereas before, I think the front of the tank and this end was just almost like a whirlpool for them that was getting slung about so they didn't ever go here. But now, apart from because they can see me so they're at this end, they think they're getting fed. They've been fed twice today already. Greedy. Anyway, so yeah, if, if like me, I read up on a few things. Some people said post bed, have your spray bar facing the glass, but I found that having it facing up, so it, it's not spraying out the top. It's just there. Uh, it's only agitating the top of the water. I don't know if that you can see. Hopefully. But it ain't actually making the, the water too uh, crazy inside, so there's not much. Um, oh, I can't get my words out, sod it. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll leave this video here. And uh, thanks for watching, if you are watching. I have just acquired a new dual Lido 200, which I'm going to do into a tropical tank. So I'll be posting some videos of the setup of that. I'll also post some more of this tank, 
give me a little fatties in when I put a couple more in because there is going to be two fan tails going in here a white and then a white and red and what you might have seen in my videos of the pond so well, on the plus side though as I said in one of my other videos I can tell them apart now I used to just have two black fish and I didn't know who was who whereas now I've got a bronzy gold one and a black and a white and a red and white and so at least each fish will be distinguishable so thanks for watching bye bye